Hi everyone. Welcome to our Deep Academy. In today's class, we'll solve a 15 marks problem on operating car sheet that is preparing the operating car sheet of transport undertakings. Nandita Tours and Travels is running four buses between Belgam and Dharwar which are 50 kilometers apart. This Nandita Tour and Company is running four buses between the cities Belgam and Dharwar. And the distance between these two cities is 50 kilometers. Seating capacity of each bus is 40 passengers. The following particulars were obtained from their book for the month of April 2017. You see what information they have provided here. Wages of drivers, conductors and cleaners is Rs. 24,000. Salaries of office and supervisory staff, 10,000. Diesel and other oil expenses, 40,000. Repair and maintenance, 8,000. Taxation, insurance, etc., 16,000. Depreciation, 26,000. Interest and other charges, 20,000. Okay, certain expenses they have given here and we have to classify all these expenses under the head fixed charges repairs and maintenance and running charges so the drivers so the wages of driver conductors cleaners and the salaries of office staff and supervisory staff will come under fixed charges and diesel and other oil charges will take in running charges Repairs and maintenance will come under repair and maintenance. Taxation insurance, these expenses are fixed in nature. So, we will take under the head fixed charges. Depreciation is also fixed charges. And interest and other charges will take under the head fixed charges. Okay, the expenses which are fixed in nature. For example, salary. Taxation, insurance premium, depreciation, interest, all these things will take under the head fixed charges or standing charges. Clear all these expenses? This is not 100% occupied. It is 80% occupied. All the four buses run all the days of the month. Each bus made two round trips per day. Find out. Cost per passenger kilometer. Okay. The buses all the buses runs all the days of the month and each bus have made two round trips. Whenever they mention two round trips, then you have to take the double. The number of trips you will take four, not two. Because here they have mentioned two round trips. Two round trips mean double we have to take. So number of trips are four trips. Clear this point and we have to find out cost per passenger kilometer. So we'll start the solution. Solution heading is operating cost sheet and the columns are particulars and total cost. So the first heading is as you know the expenses are classified into three categories. Number one fixed charges or standing charges. Second one is repairs and maintenance and third is running charges so first we'll take fixed charges or standing charges so in fixed charges what we have to take wages of drivers conductors and cleaners so we'll write here wages of drivers conductors and cleaners and the amount is 24000 Right here, 24,000. Salaries. Salaries of office and supervisory staff. It is a fixed charges. So, we will write here, salary of office and supervisory staff. Amount is 10,000. Diesel. This is come under running charges. Repair under the head repair and maintenance. Next is taxation and 
insurance right here taxation insurance etc amount is 15000 depreciation amount is 26000 interest and other charges 20000 so all the fixed charges are over add these amount 24000 plus 10000 plus 16000 plus 26000 and 20000 you will get total 96000 write in outer column total cost column 96000 second head is repairs and maintenance charges only one item is there. So take here directly repair and maintenance amount 8000. And the third is running charges. In that we will take diesel and other oil. Diesel and other oil amount is 40,000. So the, all the expenses are over. Add these three amount 96,000 plus 8,000 plus 40,000 and the total you will get 1,44,000. This is called total operating cost. We have to calculate cost per passenger kilometer. Okay. Just now we have got total operating cost. So next we will calculate the cost per passenger kilometer. And the formula is cost per passenger kilometer is equal to total operating cost divided by total passenger kilometer. Total operating cost just we have calculated that is 1,44,000. So we will write here 1,44,000. Total passenger kilometer how we will get this amount? We have already solved four problems on this topic that is calculation of total passenger kilometer and the formula is total passenger kilometer is equal to number of buses into distance into trips into number of seats into number of days into percentage of occupancy okay this nandita tours and travels is running how many buses? 4 buses. So we will write number of buses 4 into distance. Distance between Belgium to Dharwad is 50 kilometers. So the distance 50 kilometers into trips. See the last line. Each bus made 2 trips, 2 round trips per day. 2 round tri trips means each bus has made four trips okay don't take here two trips two round trips they have mentioned here so we'll take the double if they have mentioned three round trips then you have to take six so in current problem they have mentioned two round trips so we'll take four trips so number of trips are four trips into number of seats in each bus how many passengers can sit or travel 40 Passengers means 40 seats are there. So number of seats, 40 seats into number of days. They have not mentioned here how many days, but they have mentioned the month, April. So in April month, how many days are there? 30 days. And they have mentioned here that the all the four buses run all the days of the month. So in April month, 30 days are there, and this buses runs all the days of the month. So we will take here 30 days into percentage of occupancy. Bus is 80% occupied. So we will take here 80%. Multiply all these things. 4 into 50 into 4 into 40 into 30 into 80%. And you will get 7,68,000. The TPK is total passenger kilometer is 7,68,000.
so now we have got here ppk that is total passenger kilometer will come to cost per passenger kilometer total operating cost we have recorded here that is 144000 total passenger kilometer we have got 768000 so right here 768000 divided 144000 divided by 768000 and you will get 0.18 or you can write 0.1875 so the cost per passenger kilometer is 0.1875 the final answer got the solution hope you like the video please do like share and subscribe my channel Thank you students.